You fixing to hook yourself off a hill? I guess so. It's really simple. You walk and run only if I say run. I saw a mention of a death. I haven't lost anyone yet this year. You ready? Yep. Go forward a little faster. All right. Keep going, keep going, keep going. Run as fast as you can. So lately I've been feeling quite bored and uninspired and almost like there's something missing from my life. Especially because, you know, in the past you might have seen, you know, I have done some quite exciting things. Um, things that take me to different altitudes. So today, paragliding. Oh. So I just came across Malibu Paragliding and they seem to have quite a few one-star reviews. What the fuck? Claude Fisse is pompous, condescending, irresponsible, and negligent. Unprofessional, unfriendly, unreliable. When asked to present his credentials, I was treated with hostility and rudeness. Kept talking about wanting alcohol and liquid courage before his flight. That sounds pretty sketchy. And it looks like Claude responds to every single one-star review. That is the stupidest thing I've ever seen. Wow, talk about lies. Yelp is a big scam. Yelp is a big joke. The people who take the time to write on Yelp are just not worth my time. Some people should stick to bingo or ball. Have a good life on the ground. Little biatch, biatch, biatch. Well, if I know anything about running a business, um, it's that you do not want to call people little biatches. Students have died under his instruction. Let's get out there and uh, jump off a cliff with a big paragliding device attached to us and a uh, quite unliked man by the name of Claude. Paragliding is certainly a high risk sport. And after reading some of the reviews of Malibu paragliding, I was starting to get nervous. So I gave my mom a call. But no, I just call to tell you I love you and just to say hi and hear your voice and, you know, chat. That was sweet. I love you. Of course. To hear your voice. Because there's nothing like the sweet voice of motherhood to help calm my one-star paragliding nerves. Claude said he would meet us on the side of this road. And even though we were early, I started to wonder if this flight was doomed before we even took off. The pilot was an hour late. I left before the instructor claimed he showed up. This it? But sure enough, Claude was right on time. Hi Claude, I'm Taji. So nice to meet you. And I also met some of my fellow gliders. So are you guys excited for today's flight? Yeah. yeah. Seems nice out. <laughs> yeah. Don't bring two trucks up. You know, just trying to bring just one car. What about the gear? Yeah, yeah. Seems pretty legit, hopefully. Is this the parachute? Yep. We can leave now if you want. Right on. I'm excited. I'm a little nervous. Next, we loaded Claude into the back of our production vehicle and drove to the takeoff point. And the higher our car climbed, the more scared I seemed to feel. Well, my ears have certainly popped, indicating we are very high up in the sky. How many feet again, Claude? Uh, exactly uh, 2,800. 2,800. Yep. 2,800. And we stopped going up because, you know, you, you get into the airspace where passenger jets are. Yeah, I'm very excited. Um, definitely my first time. This business in Claude is very dangerous. You are taking up a windy Malibu road around 3,000 feet and enter into an unmarked area with satellite and cell towers. Thanks. With a dozen different potential takeoff points, Claude and I started searching for the best one, given today's conditions. I can feel wind coming this way right now. So we may have to go up to the side. If we had clouds here, then we had to fly below them, take off below them, so we have always visibility. So it's definitely a bit of a process though, right? 
like yeah, getting everything kind of lined up seems. Drive up and fly, you know, simple. Ready? Kind of hot shit, man. Was... Yeah, take it off. Hey, I think I'm just gonna leave this. It's like hot as hell. What do you think? Shit, sorry. I might have... let me just check one thing. Sorry, man. Maybe I'll bring the jacket. I can't really decide. It's one of those days. At least leave the hat, maybe. Yeah. So what's your ethnicity? I'm Lebanese. Lebanese. Yes. Let's go up to the top. I think the wind will be perfect up there. Let me get my sunglasses. In a way, I kind of like this constant searching for spots because it's kind of like taking my mind off of, uh, you know, the dangers behind all of this. He's crazy, unprofessional, and dangerous. I do not feel safe because of the way he rushes and is so unprofessional. Basically, I was set up for failure. Students have died under his instruction. How's it looking over there? There's no wind here, so the other one is better because there's a slope. Nice. Let's go back to the other spot. You can feel there's no wind at all. It's nice, just, so that would be a good spot. It's not good. Oh, it's not good. No, you need, no. Oh, you need wind. Sorry, that shows how much I know. This is incredibly steep. So we'll just kind of very carefully walk down this cliff. You okay, Ben? Here we are. So is this the spot? This is one of them. But is this the spot? One of them, we use this one a lot, yeah. Awesome, but for today, probably like <clears throat> the spot. I think it'll be good, yeah. Yeah, it's fascinating. So, I can he uh, feel this is definitely windier in this area. Yeah, there's more air. It's not wind, it's just heat flowing. It's more air. Yeah, there's no wind today. You can feel there's no wind at all. It's nice. just, so that would be a good spot. It's not good. Ready? In addition to the fact that there was no wind, Claude's resistance to talking about safety was making me even more scared. Is there like some sort of safety plan? I don't like to explain too much yeah. a long time before. There's three or four things, that's it. Okay, cool, so super, I'll wait. Super, yeah, we'll simple. wait for those for sure. No preparation, coaching, or safety plans. He showed me how he did things. Then he expected me to just get it. No wind here. And this thing's on pretty good, you felt. It's like, seems pretty secure. <laughs> do you think I'm gonna do okay on this? Or what do you think? I'm getting a little no. nervous, but yeah, what do you think? It's really simple. You walk and run only if I say run. Okay. And depending on how it goes, I rarely abort, but you know, there's a chance. I haven't lost anyone yet this year. The way Claude was handling himself certainly did not put my nerves at ease. Exactly what I don't want. And watching my fellow gliders take off just added more fuel to the fire. I don't think there's any wind. So he's eventually gonna go down to the beach. Yeah. Yeah. It works every day, usually we always land. Sounds good. We end up landing at some point. After watching everyone else take off, it was now our turn. By the way, the Vice channel is on my Apple TV. You're then clipped to the parachute with Claude, and all of a sudden Claude yells to run, basically jumping off the side of a mountain. To call a spade a spade, this is base jumping, one of the most dangerous forms of parachuting. I'm gonna connect us here together. So we're definitely hooked in together, right? Yep. Alrighty. Happy couple. Yes, sir. Happy wife, happy life. All right, let's fly. Holy shit. With the time of my takeoff fast approaching, I couldn't stop thinking about all of Claude's negative reviews. Terrible takeoff, brushing right through treetops. Has to do a crash emergency landing and made me walk two miles back to the beach. Negative small talk and chatter from Claude while you're up there trying to absorb the beauty of it all. Yeah, I think the crows are the only bird species that have two different ways to communicate. They have the and then the. Well, there's no way to truly understand Claude's negative reviews without taking the plunge myself. So here it goes. You ready? Yep. Go forward. Perfect. Keep going. Keep going. Keep going. Run as fast as you can. Yeah, baby. Woohoo! Holy okay. shit. Good job, man. You did absolutely fantastic. Thank you. As we were floating above the canyons of Malibu, the breathtaking beauty made me momentarily forget all of Claude's negative reviews. But this brief escape from reality could only last for so long. I was on a mission. Before we got to the bottom of this jump, I had to get to the bottom of these negative reviews. 
to be honest with you, I was even like looking online before coming in here and I saw some of the reviews and I was a little scared, but would you like to clear up any of those things people were writing? Like, what do you think of all that? Like, someone was even trying to say you're irresponsible, pompous, uh, because, and all you know, sorts of stuff. Some people should go to uh, Disneyland and go on those rides, you know. Sometimes the uh, mother nature is gonna have us, you know, change site, there's some delays, there's, you know, people just, I don't know. Totally, I have yeah. more experience than anybody around. No, you know, I can 33 tell. years with a perfect safety record. Yeah, I, I mean, challenge you to find another guy like me. People were mentioning, I guess, like they had to do an emergency landing and walk like two miles and carry stuff, and then they still had to pay or something. He seemed or she well, we or landed on a perfectly fine site. You know, whenever we land somewhere else than the beach, you may have to walk for 10 minutes. Once a year, it happens maybe. So it's better than you know landing on top of a tree. Totally. And what about the person, one woman, uh, one person said you mentioned a little biatch or something? They screamed oh, at the conversation. Was, that girl canceled on me same day. And I normally don't even bother taking them if they cancel last minute. I was nice enough to say, all right, I'll give you a chance. You can come another day. So she shows up and she started, you know, she parked like two miles away. So we had to wait 20 minutes for her to get there. Everything with that girl was a nightmare. I do my best to make everybody happy, but when I give a chance to someone like her and then she just makes everything difficult for me, and I prefer people like you than people like her. I totally feel you. And the last one I have to ask about, just cause it's, you know, such a controversial one and so heavy is I saw a mention of a death. He's a great guy, I love that guy, Jack, Jake. He's a sweet guy. We had a good experience together and then he took off, made a left turn and he never turned away from the hill. He just went straight in like, like he wasn't conscious. The first reporter that showed up on the site said he must have had a stroke. And I didn't even think of that. You know, I was trying to analyze everything. Why did he do that? It made no sense at all. Anyway, that was a sad day. You can accuse Claude of a lot of things, but you cannot accuse him of not living and breathing paragliding. As he cleared us for landing, he also successfully cleared up the reasons for these negative reviews. So lean forward, stand up, and then just run with me a little bit. Yeah, come on, keep moving, keep moving. Excellent. Now we can stop and relax. All right. Good job, man. Wow, thank you, Claude. That was, I basically blacked out the entire time. And now I'm here. When I arrived at the meeting point, I didn't know what to expect other than a mix-up, miscommunication, and or a potentially very angry Claude. After meeting Claude, we swiftly picked up our paragliding gear, loaded it into the trunk, and made our way to the jumping point. To my comfort, I soon learned just how calm and in tune with nature, in particular the winds, Claude truly is. But that said, he does not have much of a threshold for any sort of outside BS. While airborne, I felt totally free and Claude seemed to feel the same way. In fact, he seemed very at ease in the sky, like it was his happy place. Claude runs his business unconventionally and I respect that. He was not afraid to speak on any one-star review that I threw his way and put things into his own perspective. And I have to say, being strapped into Claude was an absolute pleasure, and I was more than happy to be his little biatch. Probably if I told my mom or dad what I'm doing right now, they'd probably try everything in their um, power to stop it. But. Hopefully it all goes well and then, you know, it'll be a fun video.